Hello, in this session, we will understand the meaning of port scanning and how we can do it. In the previous session, we had seen port numbers and the importance of port numbers in cybersecurity or in ethical hacking. Well, you see, port resembles any open service in a computer or in any system. So if an attacker can find an open port in the target system, he can find the relevant service which is open and later he can use that open service to send any kind of payload or exploit okay so uh, port scanning is a very uh, a kind of very important phase for ethical hacking by which you can find uh, open services what kind of services your target machine is using that service is a vulnerability or open can be found with the help of port scanning not only ports but we can find different type of reconnaissance such as a version number of any service uh, we can find any vulnerable service being used by the target machine we can also uh, find that what kind of operating system it is using or any other kind of thing so that's why it is very important there are many tools available for port scanning and the best one is nmap so if you are a Linux user, then Nmap can be downloaded from nmap.org. If you are a Debian person, then Debian has a pre-installed version, pre-installed copy of Nmap. So you do not need to install uh, the Nmap. It is already present. If you are a Windows user, then there is a Zenmap dot Zenmap GUI, which has a very good UI and uh, something like this. You just need to provide the URL or the IP address and then scan it will provide you the open ports services and um, other things details of your host right so that's why you can use nmap.org for the uh, for the tool uh, so i'm using uh, a virtual machine and uh, this virtual machine has a parrot installed and this parrot has is a debian system and by the way uh, it is already installed with uh, um, nmap so i do not need to install it uh, so for this practical for port scanning, I have two machine one is Parrot and another one is XP. Now this Windows XP machine is my target machine and it has all vulnerable services. Um, so it has many open ports and uh, this Parrot machine is my attacker machine. So I'm going to scan the ports for this XP machine which has an IP address of 192.168.117.136. I'm going to scan this IP address. Uh, with the help of nmap tool and we will see that what kind of result it will give me okay so let's get started so to use nmap you can if you are a new user you have not used nmap earlier then you can use man command to understand nmap or you can use nmap i'm sorry nmap dash help command to uh, to see that how we can use nmap and there are different options available these all are options you can use with the help of uh, with this tool so there is an example given here nmap v a scan me dot nmap dot org now here is a thing that you need to understand that uh, what url what ip address should i give just like in information gathering you are using google.com or facebook.com in maltigo or in netcraft or any other uh, reconnaissance technique in this port scanning phase you cannot use any URL or any IP address because port scanning is actually a debatable topic where we can debate that it is illegal or not illegal uh, people say majority of people say it is not uh, legal actually it is illegal you cannot scan any port of any domain you cannot do it because if you do uh, like port scanning of google.com then you can find different open services used by google and then you can directly hack the system it is not a good idea and i never recommend it this is an education purpose video so you do not use port scanning for uh, a domain which you have not uh, authorization so so how we can uh, we can test it you can test it just like me you can have a vulnerable machine and you can test as many times you want or else you can use scanme.nmap.org this is a free url given by nmap.org you can use this uh, but do not uh, go for you know larger scans uh, because there is a limitation and if you do uh, like more scan for this url then uh, you're gonna block your ip address is gonna block for the port scanning 
uh, but this is a good idea you can have a two virtual machines and then you can make a, one is target and one is attacker and then you can port scan just like me all right so let's get started with a simple n map first of all so gonna n map dash capital s t and then just provide the ip address or the url or the domain name whatsoever you you remember so my is 192.168.117.136 and you will see that this is actually a tcp scan and i'm gonna scan all the ports which are available for 192.168.117.136 which is open and you will see in the lay in the in the session that that you will get a different open ports you see the 21 25 79 and so on 3306 all ports are open and these are the services used by that port port number uh, you can use like this as well and map if you are interested in uh, knowing what kind of operating system the target machine is using then simply provide dash o and then 192.168.117.136 and then yeah, oh, i'm sorry i think uh, i have a this problem because i was using a kali earlier and uh, parrot doesn't have uh, the root ad administrator so you can see that uh, dash o gives me uh, the windows xp it is sp2 or sp3 it is not recognizable but uh, you can see that it gives me early uh, windows xp uh, as my uh, operating system for the target machine that's good it's correct right i'm using xp it had not find that it is sp2 or sp3 but that's okay to me uh, other thing you can do you can do something called as steal the scan uh, there are maybe your target machine uses some kind of firewall or ids or any kind of thing which can monitor the traffic so how you can make your scan like steal the with the help of s command and map dash s capital s and then provide the uh, sorry uh like this and oh, i'm sorry again I'm, I'm i'm really apologies for this but uh, so you see you will get the same uh, result but this scan is going to be still the scan and uh, uh, pr protect you from the monitoring devices right you'll get the same uh, you can see the same result if you are interested in a specific uh, port number then you can provide the port number just like this uh, sudo and then instead of okay no issue then you can give dash p and then maybe uh, 21 is you know that 21 is FTP so if it is open or not you can see here it is open for FTP right so you can give the port numbers if you are interested in a range of port numbers you can do something like this maybe 20 to 100 uh, port numbers give me the uh, scan of port number between 20 to 100 it is open closed or filtered you know the result of port scanning is uh, open port closed port and filtered port open port means open service closed port means closed service and filtered port means specific service filtered by the firewall i mean it is protected by the firewall let's see so you see that uh, it gives me the range of port and the services between 20 and 100 so 21 25 79 and 80 are the services or the open ports uh, for the scan now uh, you can also give uh, the uh, CIDR notation for the IP address if you are interested in a whole lot of subnets you can use something like this slash 24 CIDR notation and then you can scan it I do not have any subnets so I'm not going to use it so let's go for some intermediate scan and understand each and every scan now okay this this is very important now let's see the TCP scan how this TCP scan work now remember your TCP scan is 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 a connection oriented service TCP is a connection oriented service which means it uses something called as connection establishment and connection terminate which means that before sending a data it will ask the uh, destination that uh, you are ready to get the data you are available or not okay so it will establish the connection between you and your destination in the same way when the data is get transmitted it is going to ask your destination that i'm going to uh, terminate this connection now okay so it's a it's a very reliable protocol tcp it's slow but it is very reliable so in the tcp header format if you see there are flags available so you need to remember these flags there is something like sin ack fin rst and so on uh, so please look after those flags we we will see those flag here so remember your connection establishment which is also known as three-way handshake uh, this three-way handshake uses uh, a pattern of flags 
So I'm gonna show you that uh, three-way handshake. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm sorry, my my machine is actually uh, really very very slow. Um, I do not have a very good processing power here. No issue. Uh, so what will happen is it's gonna send like sin flag first of all um, to the destination, and then after the sin uh, uh, to uh, the sin is going to be acknowledged by your destination. So it is uh, your destination going to send sin plus ACK, which means I got your sin packet. So sin ACK, sin plus ACK is going to received by your sender. With by getting sin plus ACK, uh, it will understand that sin packet is being received by your destination. Now your uh, sender gonna send something like this ACK to the destination. So in that way, your destination gonna understand that sin plus ACK is received by the sender. So these are the three, uh, you know, things gonna send in three-way handshake. Remember this. Uh, if you do not know this, then please refer computer network uh, uh, fundamentals for TCP. You will get to know that uh, these flags. So let's understand TCP scan first of all. So I'm going to do like nmap dash uh, st and then port number. I'm going to specifically uh, use 21 for my uh, port scanning. So p21 and then the IP address 117.136. And then let's see. So you see that 21 is open port. You can close this FTP service in your Windows XP and then you will see that uh, 21 is going to be closed. And then you, you can do that, but uh, it's not very important. You will definitely get a closed port here. If you want to see that, then you, what you can do is, uh, let me see with the, uh, uh, maybe I can use 10. And if you see that 10 is closed port, right? And the service is unknown because there is no, service which is using port number 10 all right that's why okay now how basically uh, uh, we can protect i mean it is an open service how we can protect it to protect uh, this uh, i mean 21 is open if you want to make it like filtered then you need to open your firewall so currently my firewall is closed that's why the port is open so let's see i'm gonna go to my control panel and then uh, I'm going to go to the security center. Uh, the firewall setting is completely different here. So there is a firewall. It is off now. So let me on it and let's see that what kind of result uh, you will get in the port scanning. So now it is on and uh, let's see. Now if I do that, uh, the same thing, um, maybe 21. When I do that, you will see that instead of open port, you will get, oh, it's, it's blocking your ping ping probs you can see that firewall is open and because of that you cannot do the nmap scan because my firewall is open now uh, but sometimes you will get a tcp as a filtered port uh, because my firewall is open and let me see that what other settings i'm having in the control panel security center maybe uh, it is blocking because uh, okay um, it should give me the uh, something like this uh, like 21 uh, slash tcp filtered and ftp service that you are using but uh, it is not giving me uh, maybe uh, if i do like dash pn uh, maybe just like this it is same uh, let's see what result you can see here that dash pn gonna remove this error and it it see instead of open it gives me filtered port here you see filtered port means your port or that service is precisely filtered uh, or protected by the firewall so so firewall uh, protected system definitely gonna give you some response you will understand that there is a service ftp it is completely it, do not know it is open or closed but it is protected by some firewall right so this is the result you will get now the question is how we can analyze this i mean how we can how we can get to know that someone is doing port scanning in my computer so to get to know that you can use something like something called as sniffing tools right and uh, one of the best sniffing tool is wireshark so if you are having some monitoring uh, software just like sniffing you can you, you you can see that in your in your in your uh, traffic capture there is a there is a whole lot of flag going on for tcp let's see this so if i open here in the parent suppose that 
uh, here it is sniffing and uh, this is the Wireshark. So it will ask me the password. Suppose that this Wireshark is installed in XP machine and uh, someone is someone is uh, you know continuously looking the traffic then you will you will see that how TCP scan looks like see so I think it is a uh, ETHO but it is not working ah now it is working so I'm gonna start the capture and again I'm gonna scan the uh, scan the Windows XP let's see it is scan and now I'm gonna do that and uh, it's scanned okay now we go to the Wireshark uh, let me stop this and see uh, in the traffic capture you need to find you know you, you know that this is a TCP scan so you will definitely have sin sin plus ACK and the ACK this thing you need to find it out so how we can find C you can go for there is a so you are interested in TCP only let me find TCP uh, I think there is only sin packet you find uh, well because uh, I think it's firewall enabled and that's why it is showing me but let's say firewall is closed what kind of result you will get you will see now if I'm gonna give because I had used dash pn that's why it is hindering my result I'm sorry it is open now uh, let me remove this pn as well and now let's see uh, my wireshark let me uh, continue without saving and uh, when I do this let's see now in the in the box you will see that you get some packet now uh, so I'm interested in TCP only and uh, here you see that there is a sin packet for uh, 39698 uh, and then uh, oh this one I think uh, yeah this one this is 39698 for the sin packet and the relevant is coming here uh, send ACK here you can see here that it is 4433969 which is send, this is my destination port number 39698 send ACK and the relevant ACK uh, send it by the um, sender 39698 to the 443 ACK you can see that you got a TCP scan here send, send ACK and ACK so you get to know that uh, someone is doing TCP scan here and you can easily find the IP address of that computer so if I click on this uh, and if I go here then you see that destination is 192.168.117.141 right so let me see that who is this IP address and this IP address is basically the parrot this one Debian system so if I open another uh, command prompt and if I uh, tell you the IP IF config you see that 141 is basically the IP address of my parrot so in that way you can actually find uh, who is the real uh, you know attacker who is doing the port scanning with the uh, when you when someone is doing TCP scan right so you can find the uh, flags here since in ACK and ACK you will get to know however this is actually hindering with your you know actual internet traffic definitely but still if a person who knows monitoring uh, or sniffing thing then he will check he will check the logs of a whole lot of IP address and it will, it will find that who is the uh, owner of this IP address and it will get to know that because in TCP scan what will happen there are so much of traffic comes up uh, just like sin, sin ACK, ACK, sin, sin ACK, ACK so many flags will come up definitely he will get to know that someone is uh, you know uh, uh, continuously uh, scanning the ports and you will see that large number of IP address for, for the same IP address you will get okay all this traffic is for 117.141 as a destination so definitely it will uh, somehow um, hinting you that uh, there, is, there is something wrong right so in that way you can find your uh, scanner the port scanner one all right so this is the uh, uh, one TCP scan the another scan if you want if you want to bypass this you can use something called as sin sin or fin scan okay fin scan uh, now why it is why we are using fin scan because uh, earlier it is detectable uh, because uh, there is sense and ACK and ACK but now with the help of fin scan what will happen you know that with the help of sin flag we get to know that someone is going someone is trying to establish the connection but with fin scan it means 
close the connection, terminate the connection. So it is not sending any SYN packet, it will directly send the FIN packet. That means without connection establishment, terminate the connection. That means like that. So, so definitely your uh, your target machine never get to know that who is the uh, you know who is the person wants to connect the, uh, wants to establish the connection. Uh, your target machine uh, never get to know. So let's see that how fins can gonna work. So it's a simple thing. Nmap dash sf and then dash p21 and then the IP address 192.168.117.136. So I'm sorry, it's fin scan. So I'm gonna. So here you will get a, a closed FTP. Uh, it's because uh, I think here uh, it's off. Oh, I need to open it because uh, actually it was earlier open. So I need to make it open. Um, let's see now. And I need to provide the dash pn as well. So you will see that it is filtered, no issue. It is open and filtered. And let's see now uh, in the Wireshark that how we can, uh, you know, uh, get this filtered, uh, uh, sorry, get this uh, fin scan. How we can grab this port scanning in the Wireshark. So it is easy. Uh, now instead of a sin pack, sin flag, you need to find only fin flag. So uh, if I go back, continue without saving, and come back to the terminal here and try the fin scan i'm sorry i need to clear the screen first of all so that you can see clearly what i'm doing now uh, i'm doing the fin scan and uh, in the var shark you will see that uh, it is actually not showing me the whole thing uh, so you can see that it is not sending any sin flags it is uh, directly sending the fin flags only so terminate the connection before connecting okay so there is nothing uh, like connecting uh, or connection establishment it is like directly terminate the connection okay but uh, if you will see that large number of fin packets or fin flags are coming then there is this is a a, a point where uh, a network administrator get to know that someone is doing port scanning so he will uh, open this and it, it will see that who is the source and who is the destination so destination is me i mean my xp machine but uh, who is the attacker here? This one is the attacker 168.117.141 is the parrot IP address. You will get to know that. So this is a fin scan on how you can uh, how you can grab this fin scan with the help of this Wireshark and large number of fin scan will come here and you will get to know that what IP address they are using. This is your fin scan which will usually use to terminate the connection. So your destination uh, will uh, not going to reply anything on this part. So th this way you can you can grab it, right? Uh, next scan is null scan. So fin scan is also having problem because uh, ultimately Wireshark is capturing it, right? So we need to again uh, reformulate it uh, port scanning. So instead of fin scan, we go for null scan. Null scan, all right? So what we gonna do in the null scan? Well, null scan holds a sequence of zeros. So there is there is nothing in the flags we we will not use any flag of tcp it is going to sequence of zeros there is nothing uh, in the tcp in the flag we will not use any flag of tcp okay so in even in the wireshark you will not get anything such as tcp flag not going to use any tcp connections here right so let's see null scan how it works it is easy gonna do again the same thing instead of dash f you just need to use dash n and you will see that same result open and filtered firewall is on that's why open and filter is coming now so someone is doing null scan how we can get this null scan how we can capture this null scan in the wireshark how we how we can get to know that someone is doing port scanning with the help of null scan we can do let's see again continue without saving and uh, if i use this scan let's see so this is uh, the wireshark result so there is there is nothing there is no tcp <coughs> flags being used you can see here there is nothing but you will see large number of non or none flags will come none 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 you will see the whole traffic right now i do not have because uh, i'm not connected to any 
uh, live connections it is just my uh, uh, mobile hotspot and it is not connected to internet so this is a uh, just none comma none flag and it is going to be series of none and in, and the data is like sequence of zeros are going to be here so you see that uh, uh, in the um, the data it is it is a sequence of zeros are there and it is uh, there, there is no data inside it okay in the none so null scan can be find with the help of this none flag n o n e you will see a series of none flags and with the help of that you will find that who is the uh, who is the attacker again the wireshark a traffic capture had uh, captured your uh, DBN IP address 117.141. This way you can find null scan. So our TCP scan, FIN scan and null scan are not, you know, that uh, that feasible. It is, it is actually there in the logs of Wireshark. It is there in the traffic. We can easily find these port scanning methods of Nmap uh, inside Wireshark with, an, with a very simple uh, analysis. This is easy. To uh, manipulate all these flags like a push flag or maybe urgent flag or maybe fin flag or maybe a sin flag, all TCP header flag, uh, we can manipulate these flags with the help of another scan known as XMAX scan. I am sorry I cannot pronounce it very well, but it is XMAX or Christmas scan. So this is to manipulate PSG, URG, fin flag of the TCP header. Um, source sent fin PSG PSH that means push uh, URG to a specific port and if a port is open then destination discarded not reply to source okay so let's see how we can do that is instead of N I'm gonna use capital X and this is going to be my X nice scan okay let's see so let's see so this is going to give me open and filtered port so instead, uh, in the in the TCP header, we are not using any SYN, SYN ACK or ACK, uh, no connections. But how we can find this XMAX, XMAX scan in the Wireshark, how we can grab it? You can see that similar result you are getting. If someone is doing XMAX scan in, in the target machine, then how we can grab it? Let's see the Wireshark, continue without saving. And you will see that, uh, again, TCP flags are being used here. And what TCP flags you need to find? See. So these are the TCP flags you will find here. See. Fin, PS, PSH, and urgent flag. So instead of SYN, SYN plus ACK and ACK flags, uh, you need to find that there is any FIN, PSH, or URG flags available in the traffic or not. If it is available, a large bunch of FIN, PSH, and URG flags are there in the traffic capture definitely it is x scan someone is doing your christmas scan in your uh, in your target machine so you can find that uh, christmas scan in the wireshark traffic with the help of these three flags okay remember these three flags fin urg and psh so definitely it is not using any christmas Christ uh, sorry uh, three way handshake uh, sin sin plus ack and ack but it is using fin psh and urgent flag Okay, so this is the way you can uh, you can find uh, the uh, Christmas scan. Uh, so the next thing is we're going to understand uh, that how we can manipulate if someone is blocking uh, our our IP address. How we can do that? If someone finds that 117.141 is is continuously doing port scanning, definitely your target machine somehow around going to block your IP address. How we can manipulate this? We will see. 